What is Bigfoot? Is it simply a myth? A legend? Or is it something more than folklore? The Native Americans believe it to be another tribe of people. The state of Oklahoma is named from the two Choctaw words, Okla and Homa, meaning red people. Being that the community of Honubi is arguably in the center of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma, it is only fitting to describe the Bigfoot as what they really are, big people. Okla Chito is a phrase of two Choctaw words used together to describe the Bigfoot. Okla Chito, big people. Now not everyone feels or believes the same way, but if you ask most elders of any native nation in North America, you may hear the words people, tribe, or old ones. Just about 96% of most native tribes here in North America feel in their culture that Bigfoot is a tribe of people long forgotten and has a significant reason why they are here on Earth. Together with science and the traditions of some tribal nations, the Native Oklahoma Bigfoot Research Organization just might finally solve this puzzle concerning Bigfoot. We are just now descending down the, the trail that goes from the top of the church mission grounds to the bottom valley below. And uh, we're just walking nice and slow so we don't stumble down the hill because it is dangerous. And uh, anyway, I'm just uh, scanning the trees here for any wildlife. We already saw a skunk and we had to get away from the skunk. Alright, there's something All right there. Anyway, we'll talk to you down below. screen. Derek's heard two steps. Not sure if that's moving or not. Yeah, so yesterday Evans and I was walking down this trail and found this tree across the road. It is broken about three pieces <clears throat> and there's no other trees damaged around it about 18 feet up in the air and it looks like it's completely sheared off it hadn't been bent over or anything and with the impact to hit the ground and break into multiple pieces we thought well maybe the tree was rotten so we investigated and <clears throat> this tree is in great shape there's no rot on it it's a, it's a healthy piece of wood Just lay it down where you found it sure let's show us 
So it was right there. Right there, you can see the three pieces of how we found it. And just and a clean Chris. break. Can you see them on the camera? Yeah. There's Chris, and that's how high it is. About we're guessing 18 feet. No other damage in the area to any other trees. of the tree fell from right here but look at this here's yeah. another big long piece right. of the same tree but it, yet it's going right perpendicular we couldn't find where this piece where this piece came from unless it's the top part of that but it should have broken that way another different direction but it, now it's Perpendicular. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing to hit and reflect off of right there. I don't think. And wow. this is the way this is peeled. See that's peeled off. It's not a clean cut shape. Uh, well, what's this one look on the back side? Yeah. No, it's yeah. it's not off that. Yeah. Huh. See, and that's with the way that's peeled off and tapered. And up there on the stump is just a clean cut straight across, just about. It doesn't look like it's been bent and eventually broke and peeled. It looks like it's just a shear. Good find, guys. The light's right in front of us? Yeah. All right. I think I can see it. <gasps> what the heck was that? It sounded like a woman. It sounded like a bobcat. Oh, really? Did you guys hear the bobcat? Yeah. Yeah. We just heard a. No, no, no. Woo! It's yeah. the second light off to the right. Did you guys hear the cat? I'm pretty sure it was the bobcat. The second light right there. You're, you're seeing Is lights that? from town through okay, the. Okay, okay. Yeah, I did hear that noise. Okay. What was it? I don't know. It wasn't like couple trees, one comes across the trail this way and one comes across the opposite side. And on both of them that's bent across, there's a tree holding them down. As you can see right here, this tree is holding this bent tree down. And same thing on this opposite side. As you can see right here, it's bent over the opposite way. There's a tree placed on it on the back side holding this one down. That one's been snapped up. I'm approaching the big white hot heat signature. It looks like it's just the base of the tree. I guess that base of the tree has heat in it. sure okay that's a yeah it's a huge stump yeah it had heat in it it looked big from far away
right, so right here we have a tree that has been bowed over the trail. And these briars right here are stretched perfectly straight out. And they appear to be attached to the top of this tree, holding the tree down. But the briars are rooted in the ground and they're stretched straight and taut. Like it's purposely been put here to hold this tree across the trail. So Chris, how tall are you again? Six three. Six three. How tall do you think you are? But to the top of your hand. Eight one right here. What? Eight one. Eight one. So, what do you think that is? Another three, four, four feet. Looking at eleven to twelve feet. Finally, No Bro analyzes an audio recording from a previous expedition. One member heard two distinct whistles at 6 a.m. outside of camp on November 4th, 2023. The audio recorder picked up on some different whistles than what was previously heard. The team was split on if these whistles were a bird or something else. After playing the recording for two different experts and bird calls, the conclusion was the whistle was more than likely a blue jay. The expert was 80% certain of that. <laughs>